Hi there, here are six most asked questions I see people struggle with in Island Sanctuary. Let's go over each one and I'll explain how to do it. We'll cover how to dive, when you get stuck, catching stuff, and changing Island's appearance, and so on and so forth. Question number one, how do I dive? This is actually pretty hilarious because most players are used to mounts diving in the water for them and forget how to actually dive with your character. If you didn't know, some of the gathering nodes are underwater for clam, coral, etc. And you can find those in the gathering nodes at the right side of the island and the top of the island in the beach areas. You simply go in the water and press B for Xbox controller, O for PlayStation controller, or space or control for PC. Question number two, I'm stuck at rank four, what do I do now? Now that the tutorial is over, you'll find that there's no guide at all around this rank. At this point, all you have to do is just gather, wait for construction to finish or workshops to finish in order to give you island experience. This is going to be just relaxing, gathering, grinding content, which I personally love. If you ever get stuck, always check your crafting log for new tools. Sometimes they show up there and you can miss them or buildings if they can be upgraded. You get new expansion tools around three, five and rank seven. Question number three, why can't I catch anything? They keep getting away. This has been solidified that it was a miscommunication somewhere down the road, either from the devs, translators, or just assumptions we made, but nothing is 100% catch rate. You'll have three tiers of tools for catching monsters. The makeshift net will give you access to small monsters like sheep, opa opo, penguins, and coblin. The mid-tier rope will give you access to chocobos, dodos, glytog, Dons, I can never say that, and stags with the last tier of item, which will give you access to the buffalo, nanny, and dinosaur looking thing. You will be using these a lot, so you're basically just gathering materials to make these items, to which I will have farm routes posted for mid tier net and small net that are actually quite efficient, which you can find in my island sanctuary playlist. Question number four Do I want to use these workshops or wait for other stuff? Workshops are the best way to get blue currency, which is used for all the mounts, glamours, and important stuff from the vendor. So you want to get those workshops working right away for you. I do a pretty good explanation of workshops in my rank one to five guide that you can find in that Island Sanctuary playlist because it can be super confusing and daunting just because of wording. But yes, make sure you get those workshops using as quickly as possible. Question number five, does it matter what landmarks I build? No, at this point you'll have access to two and then you get access to a third type of bathhouse and each one has the same effect on the workshop, which will increase the groove stat, which I cover in the other video. So feel free to customize to your heart's content with landmark buildings and make the islands of your dream. Another quick tip here is you can actually move your landmarks and it happens immediately. So I had my bathhouse up top, but I really wanted it on the first location that we unlock. So you can just go to that location, click move landmark and it will switch. I really like the ocean view from this point. Question number six, how do I change my island's appearance? Once you get to the second cozy cabin at rank four, you're able to change your island's appearance, but it's very limited. You can go to your main cabin and choose change hideaways appearance. You'll need an island prism to which you can buy off the market board, or you can craft yourself with any eight of the crafters from the mainland game. They are located under master recipes nine at the very bottom of the screen. So you can change and adjust to your heart's content. I personally went with an overgrown look, but I kept the log stairs. I hope they add more customization later on. It kind of blows my mind with how much they actually release on the initial patch. And I really look forward to all the updates that they're going to bring to Island Sanctuary. It does seem like it's going to take a long time to be able to get all three mounts. So you want to get started on this and get it running so you can get that blue currency building up as quickly as possible. Each mount on the island costs 12,000 blue currency which at lower ranks, it's really hard to come by. So maybe at high ranks and max ranks, it's going to be a little bit easier. If anyone is already at rank 10, you're crazy, but leave a comment down below and let us know what's happening at rank 10. These are the most frequent questions I get asked. And if you have any more, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer them and make another video. I really am loving Island Sanctuary content and hope you all are too. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials or Island Sanctuary content, you can click here.